little Dachshunds, Dachshunds mix. I love it. That's Christmas Star from Debbie Gibson's new holiday album. The pop star has been in the music industry for over 30 years, if you can believe it. But this is her first holiday album. Please welcome back to the show, Debbie Gibson. Yeah. Yay. Hi, everybody. Hi, hey. Debbie. Real quick, before we get to the holidays, we did just celebrate Halloween, and you happen to be on Celebrity Ghost Stories. And I wanted to know, do you have a creepy ghost story? We've been talking a lot about it lately. Yes, in fact, wait, Heidi, can you grab my Liberace book from the room? You have to see this because it's so tr true what happened. Oh, there it is. It's right there. So um, I clearly love Liberace. I've always been obsessed with him. And I have his piano. And I was wow. in a bookstore in Utah. And I literally just like gravitated to this book. And this telegram fell out. <gasps> it's from 19... 57. Stop it. It's from Liberace and his brother, George. What? And I had a concert happening that night, and it's like, congratulations and good luck on your concert Whoa. tonight. I was flipping oh, that. Dude. 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 Oh, that, my. I yeah. have goosebumps. That's cool. That is wow. crazy. It's Ooh. pretty nuts, right? She's drawn to that book. I don't know how we follow up with that. Yeah, I'm we're gonna done. Try. We're done. I'm going <laughs> to try. Yeah, we're done. Thank you all. Bye, <laughs> Witcher Luscious. Happy holidays. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Christmas. All yeah, of it. Exactly. Okay, so you recently posted a video with the caption, Dance Like No One Is Watching. Is dancing one of your secrets to looking so young? Because you look the same. Amazing. Oh my gosh, thank you. Listen, I jokingly say I'm either taking on the world or I'm taking a nap. Nice. So <laughs> I dance hard, I nap hard, and I dance when I feel like life is getting too serious or I'm taking myself too seriously. Like I take my work seriously because that's what I put forth out in the world and people pay money to buy my music. It's my shows, I want it to be great. But there's a difference between taking that seriously and yourself seriously. Mm -hmm. So I kind of dance to shake that off and uh, yeah, I do like bad interpretive dancing for my dogs and they kind of roll their <laughs> eyes at me like, mom. <laughs> I have to film them sometime when I'm dancing for them because they are truly my, my boys. They're just like, Really, Mom? Again? <laughs> well, I was going to say, like, at the beginning of the interview, I love that you held up the vinyl album. Uh, I love the cover. I think it looks great. I love vinyl in the mornings. It's a great way to start the day. Whoa, uh, whoa. I do. I love, I love albums. In the, I like albums in the morning. I like Robert records. Duvall. That's I'm sort of sorry. like a, a euphemism. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that could have gone so many ways. I know. Yes, I know she would have taken it into a weird place. I'd like to talk about, you know, your new album, which I'm sure is super dope. Uh, you sing with your dad. I, I can't imagine, as, 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 as a girl dad myself, I can't imagine how great that was. So can you tell us about that? I'm going to cry right now. I just spoke to my Feel dad free. before I am talking to you guys here. And we've been singing together since I could start to form sentences as a, like a baby. And my dad has this unbelievable, natural, untrained voice that I feel the world needs to hear. And I, I'm, you know, he's pushing 80. And I'm so proud of him that he was bold enough to actually go into the studio and record. And I'm so honored that I have this cherished memory forever. Yeah. You know, it's just so, so special. I lost my mom earlier this year. Aww. And my mom mom was always also encouraging my dad to sing because you know she was she was a manager so she was like joe what are we how are we going to capitalize on this voice <laughs> and he was like you know what that can have the showbiz craziness i just want to like work for twa and keep keep a steady paycheck coming home for my family which is what he did which is so noble and my dad just sang for fun i dragged him into community theater with me and got him in the studio for real this year and it's so magical. Wow. That's awesome. Oh, I love that. We have a mutual friend, Bob, and I'm supposed to rub my ear. I think we didn't come up with anything yes, funny. We didn't, come up with, yeah, we didn't come up with anything funny, though. He sent me a picture of you with, like, some other people. I'm like, I can't use You're that on the show. to rub your ear? <laughs> no, I just did that for him. We were, it, she knows what I'm talking about. Anyways. <laughs> He's a great guy. Mutual he, friend, yeah. He'll That's love amazing. this. My producers, <laughs> not so much. All right, so you also sing with Joey McIntyre on the album, and you two have known each other since since you were teenagers, what did you think when you first met him? And was he in New Kids on the Block at the time? Yeah, so we met backstage at the New Kids concert at Westbury Music Fair. And we joked that Joe looked like he was 12, <laughs> even though he was like 15 and I was 17. But you know, at that age, like, 
sophomore and senior. Like he thought I was this cool senior girl. Uh, and I was like, oh, what a cute little boy. <laughs> and then when we played Vegas together last year, we, I was like, wait, we're like practically the same age because he's turning 50 this year. I'm 52 at this point, it's all the same. But yeah, we always remembered that first meeting and we met throughout the years, but we really became close in doing our duet of Lost in Your Eyes on the mixtape tour, which was his brilliant idea, then recording it, then playing Vegas together. And now we co-wrote Heartbreak Holiday for the Winterlicious album. He's quite a songwriter. And we just have this incredible friendship and professional chemistry and creativity that is such an amazing gift in this chapter of my life. Because I've always been a solo show. I've never had a partner. He's got the four guys, but as he likes to say, he's very in touch with his feminine side. So having a female creative counterpart is fun for him too. And we're like pop soulmates. That's what we have dubbed each other. So Alex listen really to nice. Alex listen to Win Winterlicious and on, on vinyl in the morning. I do. Uh, first, I was going to say, I am going to hit you up. I'd like a signed copy of the album. I'm just saying now. <laughs> what? Uh, I would like, I'm going to right. ask her right now. Yes. Copy of the album. Look. <gasps> yeah, see? It's no. also got this like bonus 45. Oh, that's I great. I fit all the music. Can you put on the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm missing what you guys are saying. What did I miss? That All sounded good. Names. Al was being very I, selfish and said, could you sign an album for him? And then I said, how about all of our names? Yeah, we want it all. Day. Haters. I just happen to have a few extra. You will all get a copy. And Debbie, we got to run. We will reach out for that album, yes, 100%. Oh, okay. <laughs> DBL Nation, make sure to put Debbie's new album, Winterlicious, on your holiday playlist yes. and check out if Debbie's tour is coming yes, to your yes, city. Yes. Visit her website, DebbieGibsonOfficial.com. Debbie, thank you so You're much. Amazing. Let's take a listen to Jingle Those Bells while we go to break. Ooh. Thanks, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs>